I'll see you soon I don't know how we got here now Is this a wall? Is this a row? Where in the world you settle down? I hear your heart underground I don't know where the salmon go They're swimming back when they hear the sound Where's the music anyway? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm Wu-Tang. Standard. Hello, the love is so estranged. Is it logical or we deranged? I wonder if periodically it's okay to be a little strange. Yeah, how long have you got left for your lunch break? About 10 minutes. Usually I'll just say have a walk down the old King's Road as well. You want to do that? Yeah. King's Road? Yeah, okay, come on then. Welcome to, we're a, I guess we're a fun band. You know, we believe in doing good music. It's just supposed to be generally fun all over, you know? And we try and get that across in the shows that we do. Who's in the band? Mr. Charlie Andrew and Mr. Robert Tullis. They're the founding members. Then you have Oliver Puglisi. And me, I'm a former Q2, and you have uh, Mark Rainbow as well. I'm not sure actually, because everything is actually just a massive stall. Yeah, I won't cut it there. Cool. What was quite cool is that a lot of collective before was just Charlie and Bob, and then other people were just around them. They were like the nucleus, and then the other people were just sort of like an, an electron cloud around them. Well, I was going to start giving these, giving these to ladies. I used to do music with Bob and Ollie at university and uh, my daughter's mum who'd, be, who'd been singing and dancing and stuff with Basement Jacks well they wanted her to come and sing, sing and do a track with them which, which she did and they were like oh you know Martin you know you do stuff with them why don't you just uh, why don't you as well uh, we need some rapping and stuff like that so I went over and did my raps and shit uh, it was it was pretty cool. Oh wait, hold on, hold, <laughs> hold, hold. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's just... Nah. nah. <laughs> so basically, these, these speakers are the biggest investment I've made for like music making. I hardly ever get to use them because um, I'm always working so much. But hopefully I've got like, a period of time coming up now where I can get back on it. Which is pretty important. So, there's always a really nice moment when you first get the sound out of the speakers. What? <laughs> right, let's go to the shop. So it's my friend Lewis, who's a saxophone player, his sister's getting married today, so I'm playing for the service, arrival of the Queen of Sheba, and then uh, a bit of hanging around and then we're playing for the reception in the evening. This little beauty here is um, proper 70s word, so, because it's... it's so, I've got a day job, and that's in Guildhall, as a recording engineer. And then, obviously the next biggest chunk of time outside of that is the Laurel Collective, and that's 
a lot of time. And then there's sort of little bits and bobs of other playing for random other musicians. For, and But then also, yeah, just supplement a bit of income. Um, how do you have your tea, by the way? Are you at home? You know, <laughs> you know my black smart shoes. The smart jacket is that there as well? Yes, yes. Tony's got my smart shoes in his house and the my smart jacket as well. So uh, I think that's the place for me to go as soon as possible. Right. Are you going to go there? Now. I'm going to go there now. <laughs> oh god, but I've started trimming my beard and then now it's running out. <laughs> ah! So what we're going to do is, we can just have this on the go, slowly cook it away, and then we can go and do some pasta sampling. Cool. So we've got our pasta. Let's see what we're going to do with it. It's good to do more than one creative thing, I think, because I think a lot of creative things are actually quite related, definitely. You know, like, for example, I write um, pretty much all the lyrics. Occasionally Martin writes some lyrics, but... Like, if, if it happens that way, then there's got to be some people driving it. Like, Ollie writes a lot of the, the basic melody lines for the songs, and that's pushing it forward. Maybe we can do something with the pasta out of the packet. When we collaborate there's like an editing process and me and Ollie's ideas eventually kind of they get shaped into songs, we'll hit a wall and then Mark will like do something or Martin will do something and and it'll take it'll take a shape. It'll it'll be the finished thing. We're all really important with the in the band in the sense that like like Charlie he recorded the album and he mixed most of it so you know it's it's just uh, there's a vital input from everyone Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's been wicked seeing you. Yeah? And yeah, if you ever, if you, you know, if you ever got some spare time and want to look at the X, then I'd love to. Because I, I, I think it's a killer tune. Yeah, yeah. Right? We really could, you know, think... we could sort of reproduce it if you know, if you just, yeah, if you've got time. Right, I'm bang yeah. up for that. Good. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. We've sort of been around the block. We've, we've been, around, we've been together for about eight years, and we've been all through. We were a buzz band like years ago when we did the Domino thing, and we've taken all this time to shape the sound and, it, and it not intentionally necessarily some some of the time it's because people left like I left and so it's just had to mutate and now we've come to a nice place where everything seems to be working really well so like I say like the dynamic is really good between us as players and as people so it's, it's I really enjoy it now it's really good no, you want to hear some Bangra? Yeah, go on. Mate, yeah, let's have a love to Pete, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we'll do. We'll and, do. Um, and to your dad as well. Yeah, we'll do. And, uh, See you later. See you soon, man. Right. Oh, see that building there? Yeah. Have you noticed it before? Have you seen it before? Yeah. Why don't the fucking fans go round? They built it and I was like, brilliant. They built a building that can potentially power itself. Sorry, I'm getting old man now. No, do it. Is there any way we can turn the audio off? Turn the Irishman off. Yeah. Mute sound. <laughs> oh, I wish you could make him into like a Jamaican or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can. But well, I was quite happy with the Irishman. Oh, did he you was, choose the Irishman? Yeah, he was very, he was very English before. You got South African on there. <laughs> Hang on, look. Change settings. Voice. There we go. So you got um, Afrikaans, Bulgarian. Let me put French on, right? Okay, go on I'll then. Put, I'll put Francoise on. 
Jeez. Right. Vous êtes arrivé. Oh, it's in French. <laughs> Just tell me how I arrived, I haven't arrived. <laughs> okay, you ready Poppy? Follow me. You're gonna have to be really quick, alright? Ready? Yeah, go on. I think I've got some bubble. Moish! Yeah, alright, how are you doing? I'm still in London, yes. I'm due in, if I get the train that I'm expecting to get, I should be in to Golemine for 11.30. So, do I need anything else? You got the music, music. you got you, you got your wallet. Got the sustain pedal. You got your keys. Yes. Are you taking a tie? I, I don't think I've got any ties left. What? Where's your tie? Yeah, okay, I've got to go, my love. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. Hello there. Right. Yeah, good thanks, how are you? <laughs> I think we're all really easy going people. We're we're quite laid back. And you have to be in a band because stuff happens like you know, tour vans break down at four o'clock in the morning. You know, people forget to bring really important stuff to gigs and it can cause chaos and uh, and it's just very easy to get angry and, and shout at each other and that's before you even get into the creative process because a collaboration of musicians which is what our band really is that's a very very difficult thing to to work through those creative differences in a way where people aren't going to be disappointed with each other making an album and producing it ourselves was a big test of how well we get on together and we we came through the other side of it so yeah it's good right next thing I don't know, okay, okay. 